Hey everybody, this is Brian Pound from The Mammoth Team. Uh, we're here in our own personal home with a couple of, a cool little tip to make you uh, get a little bit of sparkle in that bathroom of yours. Uh, yeah. Stay My song is a serious matter. Many of you know, The Mammoth Team does a lot of flips as Mammoth Property Investments. Uh, something we're really good at is designing bathrooms and kitchens with a little bit of snazzy parts to it. So what we're going to do today is give you a little bit of way to add a uh, little sparkle to your guest bathroom or your personal bathroom, anything like that. But you can pick up one of these cute little things at Home Depot, Lowe's, or Amazon. Uh, and then, boom, rain head shower. That's going to be real pretty in this guest bathroom. But we I built this thing out. It's still a work in progress, but we got people coming and I wanted to get it done. So little way to do that is to add some cool plumbing fixtures that are pretty easy uh, to not mess up. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a little trick with Teflon tape, which is your friend. So as you tighten it, picture yourself tightening it on there. You're going to twist it. So you want it to be putting this on. If you put it on the wrong direction, it will be taking off the Teflon. You don't want to do that because that would negate the point. So. We're going to do that real quick and we can fast forward right through this. And you want to go a couple of times around, probably four to seven. You want to get it nice and nice and fluffy on there. It'll The threads will start looking rounded. Uh, and then, as soon as you're done with that, smart idea is to not put the uh, head on this thing while you do it. Otherwise, you've got this floppy big thing flipping around on you. There you go. We're nice and tight on that. I'm gonna give it a good pull, and boom, we are tight with the Teflon. So while you're doing that, and you have this down here and not up there, you're gonna throw a little bit of Teflon around her. And remember, you're gonna go clockwise on it because as you tighten, it's gonna tighten that Teflon on there and not take it off for you. And a good way to do, hold the Teflon is backwards. You can see that making an S. It's a whole lot easier to handle that way. There we go. And like I said, four to seven spins around that thing when these things look nice and rounded. That's when you can stop. Doing that hokey pokey with Teflon. All right, make sure you have this on before you put the Teflon because otherwise you're gonna rip off the Teflon trying to put on your escutcheon. And if you want to correct me on how it's pronounced, don't, because it's a scutcheon. There we go. Find it. Oh, there it. Oh, there it is. Oh, you can feel it. And you want to go till it's good and snug. But since you have Teflon, it's gonna stop a lot of the leaks so you can stop once it's perfect we're gonna go one more round i'm gonna hope i can make it all the way yeah ah show a little midriff yeah. and now stand under it like you're partying there we go slide that back and then put your awesome rain head shower right char Since it is a rain head, it is nice to have this extender nipple on it. And if you didn't hear, my daughter snickered at the word nipple. That's the kind of family we're raising. There we go. Now this one, you may want to get it good and tight with some, ply, uh, some uh, adjustable wrench. But once you have it good and tight, you stand there, and I'm six foot one with fluffy hair. Maybe six foot, I don't know. I'm shrinking. <laughs> but you can have a nice shower with the rain head. And you have just made a little bit of sparkle happen in your bathroom. And the guests are going to be so pleased that you did. But thanks for stopping in with Mammoth Team and Mammoth Carpentry Investments as we make it a little bit prettier in our guest bathroom. I like the